Happy Fat Tuesday, y'all. I am um, sorry about the two-minute delay. Uh, I'll explain that what happened um, right before this live started. But welcome to Fat Tuesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to be here um, live um, on Fat Tuesday. I think the last time I did a live on Fat Tuesday was back in October. I just remember. I thought this was the first one, but the first one was um, in October. I didn't have time to record, so I just went live in my car. Um, and I don't remember what the topic was, but I remember going live um, that particular Tuesday um, instead of doing the pre-recorded video. But welcome, I am Shamel Jackson, the author of Wait, Women in Intimate Tales, and Girl, Forget All of That, Moving Forward After a Relationship Ends. And that's what this page is about moving forward at the relation at the relationship ends and my first book wait women intimate tales deals with abstinence my journey and also i share stories of other women about their abstinence journey if they wait well if they waited if they didn't wait so if you want to know more about that book go to the link in my bio and you'll be able to see that book um, what it's about and go on amazon to purchase it or on the website to purchase it uh speaking of the website and purchasing all the things um i it's july Welcome July. July is here. Hey, e Jizzle. July is here in full effect. And I um had if in May. In May, I celebrated the first birthday of my book, Girl Forget All That. And I did a journal challenge. Uh, a few of you participated in it. Uh, if you're watching, some of you participated in that journal challenge or decide, decided you wanted to by uh, subscribing to my email list. Another thing I need to talk about as well. Um, so May was celebrating my new book with a journal challenge and then releasing or well, announcing the new products um, I have available available to go with my book. Girl, forget all that book. And then the journal and then the pants to go with it. Yes. Um, now, I... this. This journal, I haven't started writing in, but the, um, the one I have now that I've been using doesn't have this scripture inside of it. So this is what makes it even extra special. Every time you open it, you see the scripture that form the name of this book. Girl, forget all that. Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. Then you have your own pen to go with it. All to make your healing process um, so just wonderful because while you're reading, you can journal what you're feeling about what you're reading at that point in time. And then another thing I like about this pen is, well, one thing I like about this pen is that you just put it, throw it in your purse. It's a pen. You're always going to need a pen, not just for journaling, but just everyday life. And so you, 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 you're not going to always have your book with you or a Bible or some kind of Thing that you're using to help you through your healing process and so when i use this pen i'm looking at it because it says girl forget all that on there now the scriptures is not on there but the point is when you read it when you're writing you see okay this is a reminder of girl forget all that whatever forget all that looks for you like you're it's a reminder to keep moving forward and also yeah move forward to see what god has for you you know what y'all let's go ahead girl let's just let me just read the scripture we probably need to start every live with that scripture. What does Isaiah 43, 18 through 19 say? 19 say the NLC version, y'all. But forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I am going to do. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry rivers in the dry wasteland. So God is saying, forget what happened in the past. I'm doing something new. And even though you may be in a lot of pain right now. God has already, he already on to the next thing. We just got to work out these things that has happened to us so we can move forward. Um, sometimes you got to go back to move forward. But that's a whole nother lesson for another day. Um, but yeah, so that's the scripture that formed the title. So again, if you are interested in, um, back to the website. So this is the new product, the journal, the book, and then the pen. I'll make the book bundle. Hey, dear Shamika. And so, um, so there's a book, this is a book bundle. And there's also a journal bundle for those who did have already purchased the book. You can just get this part. Now, the whole thing 
it's 40 right now. Now, if you were following me back in June when May, well, June, actually, you would know that I said that the pre-order price was 40 and then something going on, on my website and I can't even change the price. So right now I am, I have decided to learn, teach myself how to work this WordPress, this website made through WordPress. So I'm going to figure this out one way or the other. So it's, this is still $40 y'all. This whole thing is still $40. If you go to the link in my bio and then, but if you already have the book and you just want the journal bundle, this is 30. So when I figure out this price change, um, this will be 40, the journal bundle, and then the whole thing will be 50. So God said, okay, I'm going to just let the people have it for $40 <laughs> it's for now. And so, but I got to work on the website. So that is that, um, the journal bundle, book bundle, journal bundle, is just a journal and the pen. The book bundle is the book, the pen and the um journal all to go with it and as i said i got isaiah 43 18 through 19 in front of the journal and then you also see it inside the book all right so i took a little break y'all um uh, i haven't been live like this i haven't been live in a i don't remember last time i've been live and so but because it's the summertime and i work in education my summer uh i don't i'm not working my normal job during the summer so i have a little bit more free time than i would during the school year so i said well let me go live on fat tuesdays at least for july now i don't know what all it's gonna look like but this what july looks like so August we get into school starting and things are gonna shift a little bit. So I'll know probably towards at the end of July what I'll be able to do in August. I know that well, I'm just taking one day at a time this month or this month at a time in that case. And so, um, but yeah, I took a little break to just breathe after the school year ended and just start thinking about some things and just you know um, go live because I have time and then that's a way for me to like engage in even more with you all because when school starts i can't commit to a, every tuesday at 7 30 and so um but i what i do want to is probably commit to want going live at least once a month um based off what my schedule is and let you guys know ahead of time so that's something i will try to do um or i just you know one month i may go consistently every tuesday and take a month off I don't know yet. We shall see when school year starts what I can do and what I cannot do. So I want to make sure that I am giving um, my best and not just, you know, doing stuff, just be doing stuff. So um, I'm going to get to the t tonight's topic. Maybe we should cover all some things before we get into what tonight's uh, words of wisdom is about. So let's talk about what's Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday is F-A-T stands for forget all that from the book. Forget Girl, forget all that. And it's words of wisdom that I share from the book. Um, from I just, you know, just pick a chapter. It may be a sentence I pull from the book. It could be anything. Just words of wisdom, whether it's about the relationship that I was in, the healing process, the date, going back to the dating scene, the blessing from the breakup. There are so, there are so many topics in just a page, probably in the book. Like there are so many things to be said about it. Um, but on here on Tuesdays, I'm just sharing. Uh, pieces of that information so just to get the whole full effect of what is happening from beginning to end of the relationship you uh, definitely would have to check out the book now also if you're not on my email list um go ahead and sign up because if you sign up you get uh chapter one for free so that's the way you can you know get introduced to what the book introduced to the relationship that ended and so that's in my link in my bio as well so the website my email subscription is in the link in my bio. And, and then there is a YouTube channel. So um, YouTube channel, um, the video, this live will be posted to that channel as well. So if you are a YouTube person more, the video will be available on there um, before by the end of the week. Now, okay, so we talked about May live, the break, July is here, it's hot in Memphis, you live in Memphis, you know it's super hot, the um, 4th of July is this week, what are you guys doing, are you out of town, I know a few, oh I know at least one follower, she is um, traveling with her family, so, and a lot of people might be traveling, some people might be at the house, um, I am not traveling, I do want to um, go see the fireworks, 
like a lot of times they have fireworks the day before the day before the fourth and then on the fourth but it's supposed to rain here thursday so i don't i ain't, I ain't trying to see no fireworks in the rain so <laughs> i ain't trying to go nowhere in the rain but in the house but um if i can see them wednesday that would be great Fire, like actually go to a fireworks not hear fireworks in your neighborhood because you know people be popping fireworks and maybe i want to go to a fireworks display so there's also a parade, 4th of July parade, which I never heard of. I've never been to one. So, that's interesting. So, uh, let me know in the comments, you know, if you guys are doing anything for the 4th, out of town, at home, wh whatever you are planning to do. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. Thank you for, If you're live, thank you for tuning in. You can still comment if you're watching the replay. That is perfect fine with me. I still respond to people who watch it later. All right. So... Are y'all ready for the words of wisdom for today? Now, I now tonight is going to be a little interesting cause, because I'm kind of coming from two books. And I'm going to explain to you why I'm coming from two books. Oh, and while I'm looking up this song, have you all tuned into Music Monday? Music Monday, I share a song of the week um, that helps you on this journey. Um... So yeah, if you haven't heard the song of the week, tune into it. The link, um, well, a snippet of is a, a snippet of the song is on the post, but the whole song is on my Facebook page, the actual YouTube link. Um, but I probably should put the whole song in the in the in the stories uh, when I do it. But I'm thinking about uh, what my plan is. Parts of it. And y'all, apparently, I forgot, I, my, I listen in alphabetical order, but I haven't passed the letter already of my playlist. <laughs> so, the song is outnumbered by Torrin Wales, uh, well, no, Lakewood Music featuring Torrin Wales. So, we're going to get into that at the end, but let's go ahead and talk about um, tonight's message. Now, my journal, y'all, I have been using, I've been rereading my book and I would take notes um in my journal so that's how i've been utilizing it one of the ways i've been utilizing this um journal is i i'm reread my own book because i always get something different from it but um when i reread anything that's for my authors out there when you reread your stuff it's gonna be a different revelation every season y'all listen when I go to the store, I don't be looking for stuff. I just be in the store probably looking for other stuff, but I always run across stuff that match my brand. And this is probably the latest thing. I bought these a while ago, but I said I'm going to wear them tonight. I had a totally different set of earrings on 10 minutes ago, <laughs> before, 10 minutes before this live. And I said, you know what? I'm changing uh, my earrings. And then when I go out in this, I wear this room again. But I said, I'm going to go ahead and bust out with these on the first Tuesday, first live Fat Tuesday of 2024. Um, anyway. I really like these earrings. The only thing about them is sometimes it's three. It's very you gotta make sure that you uh, store them properly because then they can get all like these strings can be doing some crazy things. But I like the color. I think it's beautiful. Anywho, so okay, I said I was coming from two books. I'm gonna tell you why. Um, also, when you purchase a book on my website, you do get a bookmark, and the book is signed by me. Your own personal bookmark with the book. Um. When I was going through the healing process, um, one of the things I had found I had an issue with re was rejection. And I was rejected in this in this story, right? And so I had to deal with that. And that was really what the hurt. Yeah, breakups hurt. But there was something. Okay, I'm about to get into my whole message. There was something deeper than just him uh, dumping me. Okay, so I started a whole study on rejection, my self-worth, all the things. So this is one of the books that I'm reading now on rejection, y'all. It's so good. I love Joyce Meyer. I don't know how many books I read about Joyce Meyer. Some I have started and finished, but she is so good. Actually, one, okay, so I'm going to get to the message y'all in a minute. But I at the back of the book, I have a list of suggested readings, and one of her books is one of the suggested readings that I a lot of books but i thought i picked one that i really felt like okay you gotta get this book like you gotta get it it's called healing the soul of a woman 
I took a whole quarter to go through that book and the workbook. And I would tell every woman to read that book. I don't care how old you are. Read it. Okay. So, but anyway. Joyce Meyer, this is what I'm reading now. This is so good. It's been a minute since I read a book on rejection. And it was time for me to read it again to just uh for personal and for you all. So, you know, you're gonna get a little bit of what I've been studying um as I as tonight. So, okay. Now let's get to the words. So y'all know it's it's the first one. We got I gotta get all I need to get out on this first one. So here we go. I'm coming from the how I heal chapter right at the beginning. Um, and it says it took me almost two years to heal from that breakup. And it was definitely not easy because of the depth and length of our relationship. I knew the healing process was going to be rough. Um, took almost two years. Okay. Now, this book is a guide to help you heal from breakup. Do you have to do... Do you have to... Do you have to take two years to heal from a breakup? N maybe not. But my point in sharing that was... You don't know how long it's going to take you to heal from that breakup. So you have to be open and flexible to what, how long it's going to take you to heal. You can't say, oh, because I wanted to be over the breakup in three months. And that was not the case. It took me almost two years to really be ready to open my heart again to date again. To, and, and not to say you have to, you know, you don't have to rush into dating. You may not even want to date. You just might want to be by yourself, not because you still hurt, but you just don't want to date. So don't let that be your uh, measuring stick uh, to say, okay, I don't want to date, so that means I'm not healed. No, that's not it. You just may want to just not want to date, um, especially if, particularly if you're dating for marriage. Um, you may not be ready for that. So that's a, that's, that's a whole other thing. But I'm just saying, it does not have may not be for you two years. So I'm not telling you you gotta wait two years for you into a relationship or it's gonna take you two years to heal. No, the point is it takes time. It's a time okay, we're gonna um now I'm going into Ecclesiastes now. Now of course er, I'm I'm gonna have a outline of whatever I'm gonna talk about, but there's always probably ninety nine percent of the time the Lord brings up the scripture um to me during the live and that's what's just happened now. <laughs> And I tend to go to it now. It's probably Ecclesiastes 3. There's a time for everything. Here it is. It's a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear up, tear down, a time to build up, a time to cry, and a time to dance. I mean, laugh, a time to grieve, and a time to dance. So, there's a time for everything. Like, I don't know what your time looked like. But my, my message is take your time. And it, was, it wasn't easy. The healing wasn't easy because the depth of our relationship and the length of we were together for four years. This is somebody I was considering for marriage and he was considering me for marriage for a couple of years and then he was not. And so because of all of that, I knew it was going to be rough. So don't be don't feel like you are weak because that relationship ending hurt you. Or because it's taking you a while, or because you thought it it was rough. It's rough. It's rough. It's a rough process because it is. If you love, if you really cared about that person, love that person, it's going to hurt when they leave. There's something you're going to something you're going to grieve that relationship, and I don't think we take that serious enough. I know I did it until this happened, and so. Um, let let your process be your process. Do not let anybody tell you you should be over this person right now or whatever. Now, if you're taking 10 years to get over somebody, now listen now. Hey, <laughs> I don't know about 10 years, but I'm just saying be flexible. and what, what the Because there's something God is doing in the healing process. Oh, my gosh. There's something he is doing. Romans 8.28 is one of my favorite scripture, scriptures. Everything is going to work out for the good. Like, the healing process absolutely sucked to me. Like, I wanted to be over it. And then the, the second season of grief I had to experience uh, through a physical death that I write about in this book, that was terrible. But today, I am, like, amazed at what God has done and what I, I allow him to do through me. Okay, they go, they, we fin that's a perfect transition into um, this book, okay? This book. Anybody got any questions as I go through? Um, because this is good, y'all. So this is coming from the second chapter. I'm only in the second chapter, y'all. But I, when I read, I was like, 
this go this go with it back to me, but it's called rejection causes and results. And so she talks about how um, this is and this is and this is the section that I'm in. Healing takes time and commitment. And commitment. So that whole saying, um, things get better with time. No, that's not it. Time heals all wounds. Um, not if you're not doing what you need to do in that time. Okay, it says, whatever God tells you to be committed. Okay, whatever God directs you to do, you must make the commitment to obey. Wherever God tells you to be committed, that's where you must be committed. Commitment is one of the keys to victory. You will have to... I'm going to say, let me go up. Problems like rejection are deeply deep rooted and receiving help is not a, it's not as simple as just coming to the altar, praying a prayer, and then going off and expecting everything to be different overnight. You will have to work with God toward your healing. Oh my goodness. You will have to work with God. You remember in the in New Testament talk about it's somewhere in the, there it says your faith has made you well. So we have to have the faith. Um we have to play a part in this healing process. He, he's, 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 he is, there are so many stories. That, that's what we need. One, one fact too is I'm going, we're going to talk about a story where people play the process in their healing. Um, it says, okay, you have to work with God towards your healing. Now you don't have to live under the torment caused by rejection, but to receive healing, you must make a commitment, a commitment to God and to his word. In order to do that, you must be willing to invest your time, spend money for tapes, books, and a good Bible and give yourself 100% to become the good student of the word. If you do that, I promise that gradually, little by little, you will change. Now, tapes, y'all, this is an old book now, y'all. Let me tell you. Let me tell you when this, this 1994, copyright 1994, y'all. Y'all can't see that. But, okay, y'all, it's 30 years old, okay? But it's still hidden like if you wrote it yesterday. That's not, listen, Joyce, girl, let my book 30 years later Folks still reading and saying, Gerd Chabelle, this book's still hitting 30, 30 years later. Come on now. <laughs> so good. So tapes. And and, and we, let's just update that. Um, YouTube. We got YouTube. We got social, all the things on social media. Podcasts. When we still reading books. You might have an ebook, audio, whatever your thing is. About, you definitely need the Bible. Whether you use the Bible app, a physical Bible. The point is, read the Bible. Um, those don't you gotta invest your time you gotta invest your time excuse me into his word you know and i i invested my time yeah i would write information excuse me on index cards recite them um that reminds me of what i'm bringing back eventually that i'll probably talk about next tuesday uh, once i have a better mindset of where it's going but um we got to invest our time. You have to be committed. Like the first two weeks after the breakup, not the first two weeks, probably a week later, I went on a two week or fast. And oh, no, let me let me fast forward. Uh, the journal challenge that I did in May came from a journal challenge I did for myself in 2022. I took the month of June to journal for 30 days straight um, from the physical death that, I, uh, that happened to a friend in March. And then once the school year is over. I said, okay, in June, summer is here. I'm going to do 30 days of journaling, whatever I'm feeling about this situation. And I, it, by the end of the month, I was, it was, a, I was at a totally different mindset. And I was still hurt, still days of crying. I don't remember when I stopped crying, y'all. I, I, I probably wrote it down somewhere, but I don't remember by heart. But it takes commitment. Um, because stuff, think, life is difficult. Um, we have to be committed. Commitment is one of the keys to victory. The enemy wants you to give up. Galatians 6 and 9 says, Be not weary in doing good, for you will reap a harvest if you do not, if you don't faint. Don't give up. That, that tells me you're going to feel like giving up. Be not weary in doing good. Um, there are so many translations to that that... Um, it probably hit you a little different. That's another thing. I look at different translations um, of verses. Um, what else? Yeah, of verses. Be like, you know what? That one hit me. Just hit me different than the King James. And if you want to do King James, do King James. That is your business. Um, but yeah, that is the message, y'all, for tonight. 
Let's recap. Let's go back to we're gonna get to the song in a minute. It said it took, it took up me almost two years to hear from that breakup, and it was definitely not easy because of the depth and length of our relationship. I knew the healing process was going to be rough. I knew it was gonna be rough. So be flexible in the healing. And because you don't know what this process is gonna be like, it may not be easy. Stay committed. Healing takes time. Um be flexible. No, healing takes time. I'm writing down our key points, y'all. In my journal, healing takes time. Be flexible. Flexible. Be committed to your process. God has me. To the process. Trust the process, y'all. Commit to the process. Commit to it and trust it. Okay, Commit to the process God has for you. And your process may not look like mine, but I'm telling you these things that you're doing, the, the main thing in this, whenever you when you get done reading a healing chapter, your my overall goal is that you see, okay, this is what she did to heal. She worked with God in this way and this way. Now, you may like the 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 how you apply the strategy may look different. Okay, I'm gonna read the word. You may want to hear the word. After you read it, play the play the um, Bible verse for you. You may take your affirmations, read it, put it on an index card. You may put them on your bathroom mirror. You may record yourself saying and listen to it on your way to work. The point is to get the word in in you. That is the point. Um, you may okay. Let's take fasting, and I that's we'll talk about that later. But you may. Fast a different way. There's different type of fast people do. The point is fast. <laughs> okay, get the word. All right, so healing takes time. Be flexible. Be committed to the process God has for you. Um, Yeah, it may not be easy. Just be flexible and trust. Be committed and trust the process. Yep. All right, so let's tune into Music Monday. I mean, yeah, let's talk about Music Monday. Um. Outnumbered by Torrin Wells. Now, I don't know if I'll talk about every song um, we have on Music Monday. I'm thinking about that as well, but I just wanted to go over some part of this song. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Let's, uh, let me know if you heard the song before, um, uh, before you got saw it on my page. I heard it on the radio and came home and looked it up. I do that a lot. <laughs> Hear the song on the radio and try to hurry up and look it up because, you know, they'll play. Well, I don't know if you know. If you go to the station's website, they'll play like, they'll have a playlist of the songs they play that day. But this particular station, you got to catch it like, if you wait two hours later, they ain't going to be there no more. So, by the grace of God, he, he was on another page on their website. So, okay, wait a minute. We may have to talk about this another we will. Let's do that. We I will talk about this another time because I want to make sure I have what I was supposed to. Oh, okay. Here it is. I was like, um, let's see. The one part that really stuck out to me, mountains would bow to your greatest. Who can withstand? Now, I y'all are like the same, but I can't get that rhythm. I can hear him singing, but I haven't heard enough to um, well, I might try it. I'm trying to see if I can get the beat. Who can withstand Jehovah? Who can compare? There's no one. Mountains will bow to your greatness because they know what your name is. So my part in that I really am focusing on is mountains will bow to your greatness. So the mountain here we can, we can say tonight is the heart from the breakup. This hurt doesn't have to take you out. You know, their, their breakup doesn't have to, their relationship in doesn't have to end your life. You know, I'm not saying you physically leave here, but you can just, uh, people, people take breakups really hard, y'all. But this, that's a mountain. That is a mountain. It's not even supposed to be there. If it's stopping you from doing what God's calling you to do, it is a mountain. So it's got to bow. This hurt can turn into bitterness. Like, you're going to be hurt, but it can turn into bitterness, unforgiveness. No, we're not even going there. This mountain will bow to your greatness. So, we're not going to be in unforgiveness. No, we're not going to see the enemy wants you to stay hurt. 
that's the mountain. He wants you to stay here, but it's got to bow in Jesus' name. Because God said in Isaiah 53 that he, we were, by his stripes, we are healed. So, we, 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 he didn't die on the cross and raise from the dead for us to be not healed. And I ain't, it ain't just physical healing. He's talking about emotional healing as well. So, no, this mountain got to go. And we moving forward, girl. We moving forward. So, girl, move. So, girl, forget all that and move forward. Let this mountain be removed. Um, and the mountain is being stuck. Um, from a relationship ending. No, no, no. Whether you ended it or it was a mutual agreement or he ended it, like, no. But, um, I think I may take, um, another day to actually go through that song. Because I just heard it this past week, right? And then, um, but I've been playing it over and over and over. But I really want to take the time to go through that song but that's one part of the song that i really just that's really been sticking with me mountains will because i got some mountains about like that that's that's bound that's got to bow um and i'm sure you you all got some mountains so we all got some mountains that need to bow we need to be um yeah that needs to bow so anyway that is fat tuesday i'm gonna be back here next week same time 7 30 p.m central standard time we'll um pull another uh, message from the book and it may come from the how he i think i'm sticking with this chapter like i said it's this is the longest chapter because this is a healing process i talk about my healing process um as far as the relationship now in the dating scene there was a whole different there were some different pieces for that healing process of what happened there. But, no, I'm sorry. I said 10. No, it's, about, it's 20 pages. I'm sorry. I don't know where I get 10 from. But it's 20 pages of talking, me talking about the healing process. So, we will um, just pull from there. Um, that is a plan. Different parts of my healing process. So, anywho. Uh, again, if you want the four chapters of what that looks like, go to the link in my bio. The journal bundle is... So the book bundle was 40 the journal bundle is 30 i'll go to look at my bio for that um i mail those to you you get them signed um just you know get it all together if and also you can still purchase the book um as well separately if you're not ready to do the whole bundle that is all available to do on my website you can also um purchase uh the book on e it's an ebook as well on amazon so that's that if you're ebook i'm not an ebook person but a lot of people are i'm just not um but yeah check out the reviews on the book on amazon and if you want to do that and then come to my website and buy the book actually you can get to amazon through my website there's a link yeah there's a link um to amazon uh, if you want to go to uh, check out the reviews on my book and then come back to the website um to purchase the book a signed copy from me now the weight book is also there women in intimate tale it talks about my abstinence journey that is um 15 now this book is 18 um dollars separately plus five dollars for shipping and handling but the the weight book doesn't have a bundle it's just now the weight book i don't have it with me but it has a note of questions at the end of the chapter and then it's space for you to write now i wrote that for um teen girls and they if it's young adult women as well but a lot of older women um women older than me have resonated with it as well uh, just reading my story uh, which is the introduction to the book but um yeah that's on there as well and again you can go to amazon get that see the reviews all of that and that again i mail those to you sign copy from me but anyway thank y'all for tuning in i will talk to you later uh, let's see the next thing big thing uh, today is tuesday obviously but again music monday is coming up so a brand new song um now I still be posting things throughout the week, um, uh, whether it come from me or someone uh another page about that's related to this topic. But just stay tuned. Uh, again, sign up from an email list by going to a link up link in my bio. Link in my bio has several things. Purchase a product, uh if you're interested in um me speaking, uh, to come to your book club, you want to purchase a book from your book club, contact me for that. Um, if you want me to come to your church or, or another organization, you can all go on my website and send me a message and we can go from there. All of that is in my bio. Talk to you later. Bye.